times table game designed to help you recall your times table facts at speed. When my children were small, I made this game up to encourage them to learn their tables, hopefully in a fun way. So the first thing you need is some paper or card. It really doesn't matter. What I've done is I've used a different colour for each different times table. This is just a selection of them. But you can use plain paper. It's just as good. So you basically what you want to do is you choose the times table that you're learning at the moment. For example, the four times table. And for that, you would need 12 pieces, 12 squares of card or paper. And then on each piece, you write the times table. Just the fact, you do not write the answer, just the fact. So seven times four, eight times four, nine times four, 10 times four, 11 times four, 12 times four, um, one times four. So that you've got the facts for each one, 12 facts for one times table. Once you've made the cards, you place them on the stairs, one on every stair going up like this. If you don't have stairs, you could use a hallway or a garden path. And to start with, you may wish to place the cards in order. So I've put one times four on the first step, two times four, and so on in order. The idea is that the cards stay on the stairs and every time you go up the stairs, you have to say the correct answer as you stop on each stair, as demonstrated by my teddy bear. The teddy is on the first stair. The teddy says, one times four is four. He is correct. The teddy is on the second stair. The teddy says, two times four is eight. The teddy is right. He can move up another. The teddy is on the third stair. He says, three times four is 10. Oh no, teddy is wrong. Teddy has to go back to the bottom. Oh no, Teddy has to start all over again. Can he remember his answers? You will need a grown-up or a sibling to check that you're saying the correct answer every time you go up a step. However, if this isn't possible, you could write the answers on the back of the card. So when you get to the stair, you can say your answer and then just check the back. Remember, if you make a mistake, you have to go right back down to the bottom and start again. Once you've gained confidence, you can mix up the order and then move on to different times tables and then mix the different times tables together. Yay! Teddy's made it right to the top. He got all the times tables right. And he practices this every time he goes up the stairs. He's getting really good at this. I hope you have fun playing the game too. Bye for now.